Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and today I want to show you a low cost alternative to aerial photography, such as the image that I have here in the back that you can see irrigation distribution uh, and different types of turf uh, problems show up uh, from an aerial photograph. And this type of an image uh, for a golf course would cost about $1,500 for a custom flight and then uh, for the photograph and digitization of the photograph. So uh, a full course aerial photograph would cost about $1,500. And what we're talking about now are these low cost drones. Uh, they're basically sold as toys, but uh, we think they can be used a little bit more sophisticated way on a golf course to uh, survey turf grass performance and to try to help uh, identify problems on turf grasses. The way these work is that they, uh, they're controlled, this one is controlled by a, an iPhone. Uh, they'll hover at a fixed height and you can fly them forward or in all directions. On this particular model, we've mounted a Hero 3 uh, camera, which is a, uh, a ruggedized camera that you see kids on skateboards uh, riding around with, onto the bottom of the aero drone. So this gives us a higher quality image than is available with the cameras on the drone. The drone itself has sonar that allows it to determine how high it's flying and it also has a downward looking small downward camera that doesn't have enough resolution uh, for use in turf management and those two devices allow the uh, drone to hold itself steady uh, when you release the control so it'll fly by itself steadily. There's also a forward looking uh, camera that can be used to uh, view how the flight is uh, is ongoing. So those are those are the components of the camera. When we fly this, uh, this unit, we have to take the, uh, this aerodynamic top off uh, because the weight of the camera uh, tends to hold it down a little bit. Let me show you what it looks like when it's flying and then how we might want to try to use the images for turf grass evaluation in the future in a low cost way to get uh, some survey work done at a golf course. Here I am at La Jolla Country Club working with Dennis Fowler who has some experience flying drones and we just wanted to take it up over this fairway with trees on the south side of the fairway that results in shade going into the about halfway across the fairway and to see the difference in dormancy levels of the kikui grass on this fairway and as we can see uh, the drone just coming into the view at the top of the screen flying down the fairway in a second we'll show you uh, what the image looks like coming from the drone looking down. So the flight was pretty uh, pretty simple, just goes up and down the fairway, uh, pretty smooth flight, and then this is what we uh, see when looking down from the camera that's on the uh, drone. So you can see that the uh, turf grass looks good in the area where we have high sun levels, but as we fly down the fairway toward the west and the trees are on the south side of the fairway, you can see the areas where the shade uh, reaches out into the fairway and you get some reduced uh, turf quality in areas where the shade is located in the morning, mostly the morning hours, and as the and it goes through the day, so about half of the fairway uh, has a higher level of dormancy than you'd expect this time of year compared to the area of the fairway that's not impacted by the shade. So this is the type of uh, image that we're looking for and the effects that we want to be able to illustrate, and it's easier to show it in a in a picture than it is uh, in in a description. You can just see that the turf is a little bit uh, less thrifty than it is. Uh, where there is no shade. Well I hope you enjoyed that first demonstration flight and then I have to tell you that uh, uh, the second flight when I was out there working with uh, Dennis Fowler at La Jolla Country Club uh, I thought I'd give it one more shot and we, uh, we launched it up it got caught in some wind and it blew over and here's where it ended up you can see it up in the top of the tree so uh, it's not always smooth going with these drones but I think with a little bit of practice a little bit of effort to work on uh, how to operate these drones and with the uh, images that we can provide from the camera this will be a good tool for the future of turf grass evaluation we'll see uh, but at least it's worth a try and it's kind of fun hope you enjoyed this video